Good morning. Hope you are enjoying good health. Today I have selected a very interesting traditional story for you and you will really enjoy it. For this, open your student anthology book 1. And the story is The Magic Paintbrush. Let's speak the learning objectives for this lesson. Can I understand and talk about what happens in the story? Can I tell the beginning, middle and end of the story? Can I skim and scan through text to answer the literal questions? Now come on page number 36. It's unit 4 about the traditional stories. Our traditional story is a tale that has been told and retold for many years and gradually becomes a story that almost everyone knows Cinderella Goldilocks and the three bears Jack and the beanstalk are the examples of traditional stories like all other stories it has also three basic elements beginning middle and end In the beginning of the story we come to know about the characters and setting of the story. In the middle we come to know where the main character faces a series of conflicts. Then we learn the outcomes. After that events lead to the end of the story. Then the problem resolves and the story ends. Now it's story time. And The name of this traditional tale is The Magic Paintbrush. It's a story about a young man called Ho who lived in a tiny village in China. Ho worked hard on a farm. He looked after the farmer's cows, fed the chickens, and cleaned the barns. He also dug the fields and planted the seeds. Although the farmer was rich but mean he paid who so little for his work who could only buy stale bread to eat that's why he was becoming thinner day by day who was only happy when he was drawing actually he was crazy about drawing he wished to paint colors with a paint brush but he had not, nothing to buy it one hot evening he was eating his bread when he saw an old man he was looking so thin and hungry he shared his bread with that old man as a reward the old man gifted him a golden paint brush he screamed with joy What a perfect present. Thank you, sir. And he forgot how hungry he was. He was just thinking about the pains at that time. He rushed out and filled the bucket with plants, berries, rocks, and mud. Soon who had made paints for every color of rainbow. He painted a bird on the wall of his hut. As he completed the painting, the bird became real. He flew out of the window and into the sky. Then he realized that it's not an ordinary paintbrush. It was a magic paintbrush. Then he went outside and painted a bale of hay for the cows. the hay became real there was also a river that was dried up in the hot summer sun so that he decided to paint the river and some fish wow they also became real and everyone was very happy who was very kind so that He used the paint brush to help the poor people. He painted food, a new wheel for the cart, 
pots, pans, and new clothes for everyone. Whose master was not only cruel, cruel and mean, but also greedy. He snatched the magic paintbrush and ordered Hu to paint a mountain of gold for him. Hu followed the instructions and painted a glittering mountain of gold on the island. Hu painted a sailing ship. The farmer got in the ship and moved towards the island. He was so much excited to be the richest man of the town. But who was still painting? He painted a storm that also became real. It took the farmer's ship far, far away from the village. We shall never see him again. Ho said. Everyone was very happy because there wasn't that great greedy farmer. After that, Ho painted lots of pictures, but they only became became real when someone was hungry or sad. It means the magic paintbrush knew when to work its magic. Did you like the story? Yes, it was interesting. We learned that we should help the poor people and kind to everyone. In the story you see the farmer was rich but very selfish, mean and greedy. It means he was having so many things but instead of those he was having an intense desire for more wealth and power. Now, come on the word cloud. The first word is chalk. It means a type of soft stone that is used for writing and drawing. The next word is crystal. That are small pieces of rock. Glittering. Glittering means shining or sparkling, the thing that shines or sparkles in the light. Lapped. Lapped is a verb. It means drank greedily and it was used for the cows. Now it's time to wrap up. Are you ready for the questions? You have to pause the button to answer each question. Who is the main character in the story? Yes, you are right. Who is the main character in the story? Question number two is, what did who paint for the poor people? Good job. Who painted food? Toys, books, clothes, pots, and pans for the poor people. Third question is, why did Ho paint a storm? Excellent. You are right. Ho painted a storm to carry the farmer's ship far, far away from the village. And the last question is, what's the moral in the story? A moral is a lesson that the reader can learn from the traditional stories or a tale. Here are three options. Children like painting. Greed is a bad thing. All farmers are mean. You have to choose the correct answer. Yes, you are right. Greed is a bad thing is the correct answer. Now, come to the homework questions. You have to do these questions in your language notebooks. And if your language notebooks are finished, then you can do this work on the loose sheets. The first question is, what country is story set in? Question number two is, 
and list the things that who used to make paints question number 3 is what did who paint for the cows on page number 39 question number 4 has two parts part a is if you had a magic paint brush what would you paint finish the sentence b part is what would happen if it became real question number 5 is read page number 37 and underline the adjectives thanks for watching the video have a nice day